on behalf of igno regional center kochi myself dr prasita unnikrishnan warmly welcome you to this facebook live session on upgrading in journalism and library employment sector as you all know the july 2021 admission cycle is presently ongoing and as a part of uh, promotion of various programs uh, especially in the social welfare sector li uh, library and journalism sector this facebook live session is being held today so basically through this facebook live session i would be focusing on uh, journalism programs and library and information sciences programs uh, which are being offered by igno so the programs uh, which i would be covering through this session uh, through this facebook live session is certificate program in library and information science a post graduate diploma in journalism and mass communication bachelor of library and information science master of arts in journalism and mass communication and master of library and information science so these are the five programs which i intend to cover with this facebook live session but before i go into the nitty gritties of the program uh, which would be helpful to you in your future as well as uh, to enhance your employment prospects just to give a brief about igno uh, i would just like to uh, give a brief history about igno wherein uh, you should know that indira gandhi national open university is uh, was established in september 1985 and is is one of the largest open university in the world in fact this university was established by a central act of a parliament uh, to democratize higher education and to take higher education to the doorstep of the learners in fact reaching out to the unreached is the vision of igno and we are proud it is a proud and privilege uh, opportunity also to inform that igno has been acc accredited with the nac a++ rating by the nac further students may ask as to why they should be choosing igno for their mode of study it's only because at igno we have flexible admission rules we have flexibility in the place space and duration of the study a student can study anywhere all over india uh, in whichever uh, region he or she is working we have our student support services across the country and our study materials are digitized uh, and all the soft copy is available in the digitized form in the e gyan kosh link of the igno website also our programs have a modular approach a modular approach means uh, when you apply for example when you apply for an mcom program after completion of first year you get a post uh, post graduate diploma in information and business organization so pg di bo is uh, is one degree which you obtain after completion of your first uh, year of doing mcom so that is the modular approach which igno follows to various to its various programs so how does igno help you in fact we all uh, pursue our uh, we have a lot of dreams which we want to achieve in our life it may it could be your dream job it could be enhancing your knowledge it could be self enrichment as well so how you can uh, achieve this igno helps in achieving you all this you can enhance your job prospect and skills by going through the, by applying to the various programs of igno it will also enhance your knowledge as well as your skills so how igno supports you we have uh, we support uh, the students through our regional centers which are spread all over india we have around 56 regional centers out of which three regional centers are located in kerala that is kochi trivandrum and vadagara and this facebook live session is being conducted by igno regional center kochi just to give you a brief uh, historical perspective about igno regional center kochi uh, it is to inform that the uh, igno regional center kochi was established in the year 1988 and we catered to six districts and one union territory the six districts are ernakulam thrissur palakkad kottayam idukki alappuzha and the union territory of lakshadweep as far as igno is concerned 
uh, our detailed common prospectus for the uh, July 2021 session is available on the main IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Uh, we have an array of IGNO programs which are on offer, uh, ranging from the certificate, PG certificate, to diploma, PG diploma, to degree and postgraduate uh, programs. So you can uh, get a detailed view about the eligibility criteria and the fee structure of these programs if you go through our Common Prospectus July 2021, which is available at www.igno.ac.in. So the purpose of this Facebook Live session, as I told you, was to orient you to the programs which are available in IGNO in the field of uh, in library and information sciences and in the field of journalism and mass communication. So I would be covering only those programs which are related to uh, library and information sciences and journalism and mass communication. And these are the five programs which, are, which I intend to cover through this Facebook live session. These are the two journalism programs which are on offer under the School of Journalism and New Media Studies, that is the SOJNMS. Our IGNO programs are offered through the 21 School of Studies, which are located at IGNO headquartered Delhi, out of which School of Journalism and New Media Studies is one of the schools situated at IGNO headquartered Delhi. The school was established in the year 2007. And from there on, uh, the PG Diploma in Journalism and Mass Communication program was launched. After that, the Master of Arts, that is the Journalism and Mass Communication program was also launched. So uh, as you all know, this is an era of information technology and media. And media plays a very important role in providing the information and to reach uh, to providing the information to the masses. So in the past few decades, if you see there is an increase uh, in the role of media. Uh, especially after this pandemic situation as well, you must have seen that the role of media and technology has increased a lot. And it's imperative that this uh, sector has a huge scope as far as job employment, job and employment prospect is concerned. So students who are interested to join, um, who are interested in honing their skills uh, for journalism and mass communication should definitely join these two programs of IGNO. So the first is the Master of Arts in Journalism and Mass Communication, which I am going to cover. The main aim of the MAGMC program is, this is for those learners who want to work in print, digital, and electronic media. In fact, uh, uh, those who also want to join the field of advertising and public relations, for those students also, this program will be really helpful. For those who are interested in the field of media research and academics, for them also, this program will be helpful. Some learners may also be uh, interested in making a career in development and media sector. And some of the uh, all professionals who are already working in media organization and want to acquire practical as well as theoretical knowledge or want to upgrade their skills for them also, the MHAMC program would be very useful. And finally, it is even for those a layman who is just interested in enhancing his knowledge or enriching his knowledge. So the Master of Arts in Journalism and Mass Communication, in fact, assist the learners to develop competencies and professional skills to avail employment opportunities in the media sector. The eligibility criteria for joining this program is graduation in any discipline from a recognized university, and a person should have a basic knowledge of computer and internet so that he can be become eligible for this program. The duration of this program is minimum of two years, and you can complete this program in a maximum of four years. As far as the fee structure of this program goes, uh, the fee cost is rupees 25,000 for the full program. That is for both years. But you can also pay in installments. That is uh, 12,500 for the first year. And for the next year, you can again pay 
12,500. As far as the program structure of the MAJMC program goes, it's a, as you all know, that IGNO follows a credit, uh, credit system uh, to offer it programs. One credit equal to 30 hours of study, which a student puts, including the study materials, assignment submission, and counseling sessions, and reading and writing. So a student has to put 30 hours of study for at achieving one credit. So in an MHEMC program, the total program is of 64 credits, out of which the first year, if you complete, you have to uh, complete 32 credits. So in all, as you can see from the screenshot, you have to study 16 subjects, including uh, uh, 16 subjects in total for both the years. That is, in first year, you need to study eight subjects. Now, eight subjects, out of this eight subjects, you would be having uh, practicals as well. That is, to, uh, there will be some practical work also out of this eight subjects. That, And uh, in the second year, you will be having a project work. So the uh, as far as the structure and the uh, if you go to the subjects of the MAJMC program first year, you will find that it's basically focusing on the reporting techniques, writing and editing for the print media, broadcast and online uh, information, media and society, media, ethics and laws. Uh, and the two, uh, two uh, subjects, that is the MJML, 021 and MJML 022 have a practical component in which you will be oriented towards the practical aspects of the uh, MAJMC program that is print and online and audio visual. So the practical exposure will also be provided to you. If you go, if you want to know the further details of this program, you can just give MAJMC IGNO program guide in the Google and you can download the whole program guide of the MAJMC program. There is also a practical manual uh, for the MAJMC program, which is available. And uh, you can also go through the practical manual of the MAJMC program. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, this program is in a huge demand nowadays uh, after this uh, pandemic situation, wherein the role of the media has increased tremendously. So definitely students uh, who are interested for this program uh, especially for those in media and journal uh, media and journalism they should opt for majmc program now second comes the pgjmc program that is a postgraduate diploma in journalism and mass communication the aim of the pgjmc program is similar to that of the majmc program but the only difference being pgjmc is a postgraduate diploma in journalism and mass communication which is a one year program while majmc is a two year program and majmc has a modular approach wherein uh, after completion of first year if you want to leave the program you can get a pgjmc degree and uh, have a lateral exit from the majmc program but if you complete MAJMC program, you will be getting both PGJMC as well as MAJMC degrees to your credit. So PGJMC is basically a one year program and is, is for those learners who want to work in print, digital and electronic media. In fact, uh, this uh, program is also helpful for those learners who wish to join the fields of advertising and public relations. And even uh, for the professionals who are working in the field of, who want to work in the field of media research and, and in fact in academics also, this program is useful. So many of our aspiring learners who are interested in having a career in media sector, they should definitely opt for this PGGMC program. Or, for, or for even for those uh, uh professionals who are already working in this uh, media field but they want to have an additional qualification or they want to have an additional theoretical knowledge about uh, their subject which they are uh, working upon then pgjmc would be an apt program for knowledge enrichment so postgraduate diploma in journalism and mass communication assists the learners to develop competencies and professional skills to avail employment opportunities in media sectors. The eligibility criteria 
is graduation in any discipline from a recognized university having basic knowledge of computer and internet. The medium of instruction is English in which the program is available and the duration is minimum one year and maximum you can complete this program in three years. And as far as the fee structure is concerned, uh, again, for the first year, this program will cost 12,500. As far as the program structure of the PGTMC program is concerned, this, is, uh, this covers the first year of M MAJMC program. But the only difference being in MAJMC program, you have a project component in the second year, while in the PGGMC program, you do not have a project component. However, to complete this program, you have to study uh, 32 credits. That is, you will have to pass eight subjects. Out of the eight subjects, six subjects are in theory and two, uh, two subjects, uh, practicals need to be studied. So totally, if you pass eight, eight subjects, you can attain the PGGMC program degree. In fact, the first year of the PGGMC program is same as that of the MAGMC program. And as I already mentioned, it is about, uh, it has two practical components also, which need to be studied. So what is the uh, what is the use for a, uh, an aspiring learner who wants to do PGGMC and MAGMC program? In fact, after once you uh, complete this program, you will be able to analyze the journalistic material available on radio and television. You would also be uh, you would also be have the skills to write journalistic content for radio and television. You would also be able to handle basic equipments which are required for audio visual news production. You would also uh, produce basic news programs for radio and television and appreciate the concept of teamwork for radio or television production. So uh, these all are the learning outcomes, I must say, if you complete the PGGMC and MAGMC program successfully from IGNO and I'm sure learners, aspiring learners who are watching this Facebook live session and who are interested in making a career in media field, definitely you should try and join the PGGMC and MAGMC program of IGNO. So uh, this was about the programs uh, in the field of journalism and mass communication. So now I come to uh, the programs which are being offered in the field of library and information sciences, which is uh, this comes under the School of Social Sciences, which is also one of the schools which is situated at IGNO headquarter Delhi. And the school offers the certificate in library science, that is CLIS, Bachelor of Library and Information Science, Master of Library and Information Science programs of IGNO. So first, I will be covering the certificate program in library and information sciences. In fact, this program is a program which is basically aimed uh, to reach out to the grassroots level, uh, grassroots level wherein persons are working as a librarian in maybe rural areas. They may not be having a degree, but they may be managing a library on their own in a rural area or in a remote place. So for them to get a basic degree in library and in library management, they can definitely opt for this certificate program in library and information sciences. The, in fact, the aim of the CLIS program is to sensitize library and information science professionals at the grass loop level and to impart basic skills and training in library management and information handling. So after completing this program, uh, you would have the basic skills which are required uh, for training in library management and as far as information handling. In fact, this program also gives an opportunity of professional skill development to those who are already working in libraries and do not have any professional qualification. So basically the CLIS program is a basically six month short term program, which I must say for any person who is working in a library, but doesn't have the basic qualification or doesn't have any uh, theoretical knowledge about the same. For those, the CLIS program would be very helpful. So the eligibility criteria for pursuing the CLIS program is 
10 plus 2 passed and the medium of instruction uh, is English. However, you can submit the assignments and examinations in Hindi as well. And the duration for the CLIS program is minimum six months and in uh, maximum two years, you have the flexibility to complete this program. So this is the flexibility which IGNO offers for each of its program, wherein there is a maximum time period uh, to enable you finish your program even if you are not able to complete your program in the minimum six, six months duration, which is being given for the said program. The fee structure is concerned. It's uh, rupees 3000 for the full program. That is for the full six month program. Uh, rupees 3000 is the fees for this program. Now coming on to the components of the CLIS program, you can uh, you can complete your CLIS program if you pass the four subjects of the CLIS program, out of which one subject is practical oriented, while the other three are theoretical oriented. So basically, the if you go through the screenshot, the components of the CLIS programs are basically uh, uh, bifurcated into four subjects which you have to clear. That is, the first subject is library and introduction to the library component. Uh, second is uh, document processing and organization, information, uh, information uh, services, and ICT in libraries. In fact, ICT in libraries is one of the practical components of the CLIS program. And this is this will give you the practical exposure, which is uh, very much essential to enhance your skills to be a good librarian. Next, we come to the Bachelor of Library and Information Science. The main aim of the BLIS program is basically to impart skills and training which are necessary for the effective organization and management of libraries and information units in the present day context and to provide variety of library and information services with the help of IT. As you all know, this is the era of information and technology and everything is available on the net the e-resources, the required e-resources, but how to search these e-resources. In fact, that is also a skill which is required and that skill is being developed through this BLIS program of IGNO. Hence, uh, any, any layman also who is interested uh, in library management and to enhance his professional skills in library and information sciences, uh, the learner should aim to do this BLIS program. It helps in the professional development for those who are already employed in different types of libraries and aspire for a better employment. In fact, the BLIS program also provides a platform for the fresh entrants who wish to pursue a career in library and information science. So uh, for those who are interested and who have a basic interest in books, I must say, uh, you know, they should definitely opt for this BLIS program of IGNO. So basically, the eligibility criteria for the bachelor of for pursuing a BLIS program from IGNO is bachelor's degree with 50% marks and 45% for general category uh, and for 50% uh, marks for general category and 45% for SC, ST, OBC and physically handicapped category. Or you can also have a bachelor's degree with a diploma one year in li library science or a bachelor's degree with two years of working experience in any library and information center. So this is the basic eligibility criteria which you must be having with you before you uh, apply for this BLIS program of IGNO. So the medium of instruction for the BLIS program is English. However, uh, flexibility has been given wherein you can submit your assignments and examinations in the Hindi language. And as far as the duration is concerned, the minimum duration for completing a, B a BLIS program is one year and the maximum duration is two years. So this is the flexibility which you know offers. And this can be, uh, uh, this program is an offer in both the January and July cycles of admissions. In fact, IGNO is having two cycles of admissions, that is January and July. And presently, admissions for the July 2021 session is presently ongoing. As far as the fee structure is concerned, it's uh, Rs. 7,700 for the full program of BLIS. 
As far as the components of the BLIS program is concerned, as I mentioned before as well, IGNO follows the credit system to study. Uh, this program can be completed. This is a 36 credit program. And uh, 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 in fact, this program is completed if you uh, pass on this 36 credits. So there are uh, nine subjects which you have to study in total to complete this BLIS program, out of which six subjects are theory, two subjects have theory and practical, and one subject is fully practical. So basically, this is how the bifurcation goes as well as the uh, BLIS program is concerned. If you go through the screenshot uh, of the components of the BLIS program, which I have shared, uh, you can see it covers a wide uh, range of subjects, which includes library information and society, uh, information services, organizing and managing information, ICT fundamentals, communication skills, management of library and information center, document processing practice, information products and services. And the last component, that is the ICT in libraries, is a practical component. And also document processing practice is a practical component. So the practical component of the programs are, uh, are being conducted by the study center. And uh, the support is being provided for the same by the study center. So these are all some of the components of the BLIS program. And I'm sure this is a very comprehensive program uh, wherein uh, you get a basic idea about the ICT fundamentals. And you can also improve upon your communication skills and thus uh, manage a library on your own on the basis of uh, manage a library effectively if you have a, a BLIS degree with you. So next I come to the Master of Library and Information Science program, that is the MLIS program. In fact, the aim of the MLIS program is to prepare the library and information professionals for the changing scenario. Uh, in, as you all know, this is the era of information technology and we need to, as a professionals, uh, we need to enhance our skills at every step of our life. So hence, uh, to help the professional development, not only for those who are already employed in different types of libraries and information institutions, but it also helps uh, those who have to take up library and information science as a profession and upgrade their knowledge and qualification. In fact, most of the states have library le legislation on the statute book. Uh, you must be knowing that uh, MLIS is a compulsory qualification for occupying gazetted post under the government. So the importance of doing an MLIS program, MLIS degree from IGNO has increased after this uh, uh, government notification wherein uh, it has made MLIS compulsory qualification for occupying gazetted post. In fact, the corporate sector is also looking for master's degree holders in library and information science uh, as an essential requirement to meet their information requirements. So in fact, uh, a learner who completes, uh, who does an MLIS program can also uh, have a career in the corporate sector, or he can also have a career in the university, or he can also have a career in any of the state libraries of the across the country. So these are all some of the professional uh, uh, skills uh, which can be developed uh, through this MLIS program. The eligibility criteria for pursuing an MLIS program is bachelor's degree in library or information science or associateship from uh, NS, uh, NS, uh, NIS CAIR, CAIR or DRTC. NIS CAIR basically is National Institute of Science, Communication and Information Resources or uh, Documentation Research and Training Center. So basically, if you uh, already have an associateship from NICAIR or DRTC, DRTC or you have a bachelor's degree in library and information science, you are definitely eligible for pursuing the Master of Library and Information Science from IGNO. The medium of instruction uh, is English and however, assignments and uh, examinations can also be written in the Hindi language. As far as the duration goes, uh, this program is of minimum one year duration and maximum 
uh, this uh, program has a two years duration and it is offered in both January and July cycle of admissions. So uh, this program is being offered both in January and July. As far as the fee structure of this program goes, uh, the total uh, fees for the full program is 10,800 rupees. Now coming on to the components of the MLIS program, this is a 36 credit program wherein again to complete the MLIS program, you have to come, uh, you have to study nine subjects out of the nine subjects or courses, eight courses uh, have a theory, practical and even a seminar component. And there is one project work in for which a 50% pass mark is also required. So, in fact, if you go through the screenshot of the components of the MLIS program, you will see that uh, uh, this covers various topics uh, which include management of library and information resources, information communication and society, uh, and then information processing and retrieving, fundamentals of information and communication technologies, information and communication technology applications. So, these are some of the uh, basic subjects uh, which are being covered under the MLIS program. Uh, it should also be remembered that there is a project work component also in this MLIS program. And it's a, a mix of theory, practical, seminar and project work component. So all these details about the MAJMC pro uh, of, the, of the MLIS program is available in the program guide of MLIS, uh, which you can easily download. Uh, MLIS IGNO if you give in the Google you can easily download the program guide otherwise you can also get all this information from the e Kosh link which is available on the IGNO website www.igno.ac.in so uh, I have covered my five uh, course uh, five five programs which I intended to cover uh, through this Facebook live session. I'm sure you would have got a bird's eye view onto the programs which are on offer in IGNO uh, in, the, in the area of journalism and mass communication and library and information sciences. After viewing this Facebook live session, I am sure uh, aspiring learners who are interested would have got an idea on what they can expect from this program and how this program would help them to enhance their professional competencies and also enrich them uh, professionally if they want to pursue a career in the field of journalism and mass communication or pursue a career in the field of library and information sciences. For all those aspiring learners, the IGNO admissions are presently open now. I have just shared a screenshot of the IGNO admissions, some uh, our IGNO portal, wherein you can go to our main uh, website uh, igno.ac.in you can click on fresh admissions and the admission link is also uh, given that is you can apply also through our https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in uh, as i already mentioned before admissions of igno are offered in two cycles one is in july and january the July admission cycle 2021 is presently open for which the last date is 31st of July 2021. However, this might get extended. So please keep checking our IGNO website www.igno.ac.in for further details regarding admissions. In fact, all of our mention, all of our programs on offer with IGNO are also available on the Common Prospectus, which can be downloaded from the IGNO website. Uh, this is some basic information about IGNO Regional Center Cochin, which I also thought is very important to share with all of you. Uh, we, uh, this phase, uh, this session is also being live streamed through our Facebook. Uh, uh, Facebook link as given above. We also have a Twitter account uh, that is https twitter.com igno rc kuchin. We also have our email id rc kuchin at the rate igno.ac.in. In fact, in, in fact, if you have any queries pertaining to the program on offer with igno, please feel free to write us an email at rc kuchin at the rate igno.ac.in and we would definitely get back to you on the same.
uh, our sessions are also being uploaded in the YouTube channel of Igno Renal Center Cochin, uh, which for which the link is already given. That is https www.youtube.com slash c slash Igno Renal Center Cochin. Uh, you can also log into our Igno website for all uh, details pertaining to Igno, and our link for online admissions is also being shared. So thank you all for watching this Facebook live session. And in fact, you have any queries pertaining to the session, please feel free to write to us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. Thank you so much.